Hey, what's going on guys? So given this fuck all happening in English football this week, I thought I'd cover some transfers that I missed out on over the course of the window during the next few days. The one that I'd like to start off with is Josh Bowler. Now, he's immediately been loaned out to Forest Owners' his other club in Olympiakos, but make no mistake about it, this fella very much has a future at the city ground. In fact, Forrest wanted to bring him in last January in order to bolster their promotion push, but ultimately, they couldn't quite get the deal over the line. Their fresh bid on deadline day, however, was accepted, and he's been sent to Athens in order to aid his development through consistent game time, which is something all parties are hoping will put him in good stead to earn a place in the Forest setup for the 2023-24 season. In regards to Bowler's background, he's had a rather peculiar career trajectory thus far. He was released by Fulham as a 12-year-old and had to drop down a couple of divisions and join Aldershot FC, who were the only club interested in bringing him in at the time. Unfortunately, their academy ceased to exist just two years later and Bowler was left without a club. This is when he ended up having a chance trial at QPR, who decided to give him a chance when nobody else would. He spent the next four years playing for their youth sides before eventually making his debut for their first team in the last game of the 2016-17 championship season against Norwich City. Thereafter, clubs around the country started to take notice of his talent and Everton won the race to bring him in on a three-year deal. While he couldn't quite break into their senior squad, he helped their under-23s win the Premier League 2 and Premier League Cup double in 2019. Having outgrown reserve football, he then headed out on loan to a struggling Hull City side who ended up finishing at the bottom of the league. Despite their relegation, Bowler impressed sufficiently enough for another championship club in Blackpool to take a punt on him and he did not disappoint, scoring 8 and assisting 3 for Neil Critchley's side, who ended up finishing mid-table despite being one of the bookies' favourites to go down. He's already found his way into the Olympiakos eleven and even made an appearance in the Europa League, which will prove to be an invaluable experience for him moving forward. As far as Bowler's style of play is concerned, the first thing to note is that he's a left-footed right winger who is obsessed with dribbling. Much like Iron Robin, defenders know exactly what's coming as he jinks inside from the right before having a shot at goal with his left, but can do fuck all to stop it. With modern day football becoming so focused on machine-like tactical systems, Bowler has the spark in his game to pull a rabbit out of the hat and is precisely why he's seen as a match winner by every coach he's ever played under. In fact, his 104 take-ons was a league high last year and is a sign of what to expect of him on the pitch. Former Everton under-23s manager David Unsworth was even quoted as saying, We harped on to Josh about end product. We knew he could pick up the ball, run 60 yards and beat four people, but it was about what he did at the end of it. On the basis of the last 10 to 12 months, his decision making has come on leaps and bounds and suggests he's very much ready for the big time. Aside from his mesmeric dribbling, Bowler also has great acceleration as well as the ability to create space for his team's attacking fullback to exploit. Furthermore, he's incredibly two-footed, which allows managers to use him on either flank, although the difference in end product is stark as illustrated by the graphic on screen. Overall, this is a signing made with one eye on the future, which is great to see given most clubs in Forrest's position tend to only think in the short term. A wide man who likes running at defenders is probably my favourite type of player to watch and I look forward to seeing him in action in Europe this year and hopefully in the Prem in the next one. Cheers for tuning in as always folks. I'll be doing a video today evening on the negative impact that Liz Truss's appointment as the Prime Minister of the UK will have on the Premier League so stay tuned for that and I've started doing a post-match analysis for every game that I watch of which Forrest will always be one of them. Take care and enjoy the rest of your week. Peace.